What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Ill Will getting back at y'all real quick with a quick little video showing y'all um, the comparison between a Apple workstation and a PC workstation from a OEM. OEM, okay. The OEM for PC is Dell, and then other OEM is Apple. Um, as you can see, you see the price differences right there. Something like a a little over eleven hundred dollar price difference. And you know the Mac is eleven $1 hundred dollars cheaper. Now what I've done is gone through and matched these things spec for spec, as close as you can get them. Um, all the specs are matching except graphics cards. In the PC, you still you're getting a better graphics card. That is true, I think. Um, but they have nothing else that you know. It, it's the closest graphics card to the one that's in the Mac Pro. Um, so I'll go down the list of each one with you and show you that the specs are the same and show you that there's nothing extra added onto the PC guys um, so you won't have to yell and scream about this alright so you see the, the the prices now we're gonna scroll down here this has the uh, dual uh, 266 6 core Xeons in it this Mac it's the 12 core Mac all right, it has six gigs of um, DDR3 ECCC S SD RAM, which is at 13. I want to say yeah. Learn more. Yeah, it's at uh, 1333. Okay. It has a one terabyte, 7200 RPM, three gigabyte hard drive in it. Uh, three gigabytes a second uh, hard drive. And it has a Adion, ATI Radeon. I'm sorry, I don't know where the hell I got Adion, guys. Uh, ATI Radeon HD 5770 at one gig gigabyte of memory. Okay. There's no monitors. You know, with this, there's no um, dual monitors. It comes with your Apple Magic Mouse. It comes with your Apple keyboard. And there's no software added to this. Okay. Besides the operating system and iLife, which comes standard with uh, Mac. Um, far as I'm sure this one person is going to holler warranty. And, you know, I get a one, one I think it's one year warranty um, yeah, on that. So, <clears throat> and most people aren't going to keep these. I mean, it's your choice as far as warranties go. You know, personally, I don't need it. Um, I've owned my Mac for three years and never had a problem out of it, so I definitely wouldn't purchase a warranty in this case. You know, but you can purchase a warranty. And, I'm, you know, the argument last night was, that, oh, I get a five-year warranty. Well, most professionals aren't going to keep their workstation five years. It's just, just how it works. Um, two to three years max, you know. So, a uh, five-year warranty is pointless when you're going to buy a new one in three years. So, that's the Mac. And you can see the price. Now, we're going to go over here to the Dell. Which, this is the Dell T5700 64-bit dual processor. Okay? So, it has Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. 64, 64 Alright? Um... Let's see, and I have in this a dual six core <coughs> Intel Xeon processor with um, at 2.66 gigahertz. All right, um, that's the same processor as the Mac. So let's scroll on down a little bit. The graphics card is a one gigabyte ATI Fire, Pro, uh, Fire Pro V5800. Um, I could go up to some other, some of these other cards, which are freaking crazy. I mean, even if I switch down to these bottoms cards, it still adds the money to this. None of these subtract. This is the lowest price card I can get, right in this range. Um, that will compete with the card in the Mac Pro. Um, RAM, 
same RAM, 6 gigs of DDR3, RDMM memory, 1333 MHz. Um, the hard drive is a 1 terabyte, 3 gigabytes a second, 7200 RPM hard drive. Alright, um, there's no second drive, as you guys can see. There's no third drive. Um, It has an integrated LSI, whatever the hell that is. Um, the Mac has an 18x drive. I couldn't find a 18x drive on here, so I left it at what it was. It has a 16x DVD ROM. Um, you get a card reader with your Mac. I mean, with your PC. Yay, for your card reader. Um, you know this doesn't change anything it doesn't you can't subtract or add for this option so it really doesn't matter um as far as the rest of these specs they're all clicked on none um dropped the software out this package so it bring the price down some more um you know uh there's no fourth hard drive or fifth hard drive comes with a mouse and a keyboard alright so and everything else is selected none as far as software goes and your price is six thousand one hundred and sixty nine dollars zero cents your Mac four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars now call me fucking crazy but that looks like that Mac is cheap and in my opinion, which is my opinion, the Mac or the Mac and the OS X plat the OS X operating system is a more stable and more reliable platform, in my opinion. Um, you know, and I use Windows and Mac on a daily basis. You know, so you know that's just an opinion of mine, and but if you know anybody that does use a Mac or you use a Mac and a PC I'm sure you have some kind of opinion of the same matter um, I've talked to a few Mac users that have switched from PCs or used both you know and they say that it's more it's more reliable it's more uh, stable you know uh, it's definitely sec more secure I don't know yeah, you know, I know there's a big argument with, oh, it's a market share thing or this, that, and the other, which really doesn't make a shit to me. As long as my Mac is secure, I don't care. If the reason some fat acne having hacker doesn't want to hack my Mac is because they don't own but so much of the market share, and well, be you know, so it'll be with whatever. I don't care that you know that doesn't bother me, you know. Um, all that does is make my system more secure on top of the security I already had. Okay, so there is your comparison. Um, it's right there in your face. Boom, boom. Um, I actually went and did this with the uh, baseline Mac, uh, Mac Pro, the uh, quad core in a quad core workstation from HP which was their lowest end one as well no it was their mid range I'm sure was the only one that would match the specs as the low the low end Mac Pro and it was still I think that one was like four hundred and some dollars more than the baseline Mac Pro so you know when you get into OEMs and them building workstations for you PCs on the higher side it's either going to cost you the same or if not more you know and if you start beefing up this PC anymore um, more than the Mac is now you know than the Mac so you can have better specs you're going to really be spending some money so you know and most professionals don't custom build their PCs I mean there are those out there that do and you know that's a preference of theirs but when it comes for workstation, workstation from OEM, which 
has to I mean I, you have to compare them like that because Apple is a OEM you know um, if you could custom build you an Apple per se or whatever you know you could buy certain boards and RAM and things of this nature to actually configure you a custom Mac that would without an EFI booter would boot OS X then that would be something you could compete against a custom built PC custom built PC you get the parts at wholesale you know you can't compete with buying a wholesale part you're buying wholesale parts um, from a whole uh, you know from a company so you're getting them at the same price as Apple's paying for these parts and Apple has to make money um, Dell has to make money both of them have to when they buy these parts when they configure this machine for you when they spend a lot of time and money into R&D making sure these components work well together you know Dell does it just as well as Apple does um, but the big thing with the hardware configuration with Apple is is the fact that they own their operating system their operating system is designed around these hardware configurations you know to work best with these hardware configurations that they set up you know so that is that's an added advantage with Mac um, that's probably where this reliability and stable uh, operating system comes in is because they can do this you know they're the only OEM out there that actually designs their own operating system has their own operating system I guess you'd say um, and their own hardware so it is what it is you see the prices you know I'd love to see your video response to this but you know do your thing I'd love to see you do this exact thing and somehow knock that eleven hundred dollars off and make it cheaper it's your boy ill will I'll holler at you